what's going on guys oh this is just kind of more of update stuff so had a little bit of time off work took some vacation and get some stuff done so just changed the oil and the engine got that all fresh um five quarts of zero w20 mobile one of course as we always use uh didn't film that obviously but it's all in there brand new mopar filter good to go clean the k n filter which is really easy to do get all that seal back up also as you guys saw we did clean the engine bay as well so we got that nice and right all of the uh dust and dirt build up from off-road so i got you know there's a little bit of drip here and stuff from that carpet or whatever that is up there uh dripping down but uh let's see what else we have done today was we aligned the track bar because we, we did add coil spacer in the front to level it so we've got about uh, 1.75 inch uh, it definitely looks a lot better from the side so that's nice and dialed in got that set right you know we daily drive this thing we have already got almost 10,000 miles on it so um knocked out my whole led light right there and uh just haven't really decided what we're gonna do uh, obviously i can replace this in like half a second but uh i don't really know if i'm gonna get rubicon flares just for the front and then get them paint matched leave the rear alone get those paint matched or just replace them with like some nemesis you know something that hugs the body more kind of like we've always owned the jk just not really sure uh yeah like i said earlier we did adjust the track bar so that was due to the coil spacer obviously lifting it higher so it was off center axles off center just a little bit and uh we just measured with the measuring tape um up here in this hole just like as center as possible to the same uh tread block on each side for the uh, drag link equation just wrote that on the tie rod right there obviously because the tie rod that's always gonna have to go on alignment machine but drag link you know we can do that ourselves and see if the steering wheel is straight you adjust this drag link uh, particularly up then it's going to move the steering wheel to the right that's our little do-it-yourself alignment equation there let you know when we get some more parts in get some more stuff going get you more updates and uh show you what we're up to um, oh yeah guys we did also order uh rocker armor it's matte black and draw lots of holes down here so hopefully it'll cover up a good portion of this back here and it'll look nice so that'll kind of complement you know everything else the matte black fenders hard top the wheels all right guys so we got the rocker armor in the mail so here it is this is moto builds rocker skins so they're uh pretty pretty heavy duty so i mean you know just for a rocker skin it's not really a rock slider but it's gonna go you know right there under the door uh, that's pretty much how it's gonna look obviously not painted yet and not mounted but figure out where we're gonna clamp it because we have not been able to find a spot to clamp um you know at the jail having larger door jams it's kind of difficult um we've got these panels popped out right here try to figure out if we're gonna put a clamp down in here which there is a uh like a gray plastic frame under here that doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I'm gonna pop this back in and then find some larger clamps that'll kind of go behind here. And uh, another thing, we are probably gonna take the doors off and, um, you know, prevent scratches and all that stuff with the doors, but to have better access to see, you know, when we're clamping, might as well. So, something that I did notice was the backside, this logo that they cut out. It's got some uh, some sharp edges here. You can kind of see it's sticking up right there a little bit. So I'm gonna take a flap disc on my grinder and uh, smooth that down so it doesn't, you know, wear into the body and make raw metal spots. Finish getting it nice and clean of stripped of any oils or grease or anything like that and start painting this one. All right, guys. So this one is drying. The paint is still very wet, so. The other one is done drying, so we ended up, you know, doing all the preparation, sanding, grime. So I got a nice clean surface for the paint to uh, adhere to. We're gonna go pick up a rib nut tool, a nice one. All right, what is going on, guys? So we are over here at Brent's house. So we, uh, he's helping install. 
taking off the Rubicon rails because they're kind of in the way. So we got to use, uh, you know, take those off to get to those bottom bolts, drill those out. We're going to take the doors off, stuff like that. So um, filming on the iPad here. Yeah, this is how the Jeep is looking right now. And I'll show you guys Brent's jail. You guys probably saw a little walk around clip uh, last time I've seen this. Here it is again. So super clean, Sahara 2018 Wrangler Unlimited. 42 inch Goodyear MTR tires. Kind of difficult to get apparently. Uh, some people can get them, but I definitely always love these tires. And uh, smell really good, obviously that new fresh rubber. And he just got back from driving at five hours to Jeep event, so that was really cool. So I did really well. Uh, he's got Rusty's control arms, so adjustables in there. See on the rear. And then also on the front with us for the control arms. So pretty much like a long arm geometry and uh, works really good, especially for being lifted where it's at. Very clean at the Yeti steering, of course. Super clean though. Super, super clean guys. don't have a centering punch if you need a centering punch but that's why I use those drill bits see how it's got the pilot point all right so we're rolling let me make sure I got this uh... Yeah. And I'll uh, spread the handles on it, I'll which use. pushes the arbor out. I'll use something. Then take your palm and hit the back of that. Can I get it started? Yeah, just take it and pop it one good time again. There it goes. Now push in and squeeze together. Now unscrew it, and you're good. All right guys, so that is the passenger side completely done. And uh, it's kind of a pain getting some of these bolts lined up here in the corners, having to kind of finagle it here and there, but we're about to put the doors back on and make sure everything finally clears. You know, nighttime, uh, just pretty much finished it up. Got to wipe it down, obviously. Got a lot of grease and dirt and all that good stuff. But um, definitely looks good, you know, with those nuts are some of those Allen key bolts, definitely a nice touch. but covers up that rear quarter panel really nicely um you know it looks a lot more proper that way so also looks cool with the doors off too so 
definitely a cool look guys um pretty happy with it so far so just kind of like on the other side having a you know better idea of how this side goes on so a little bit of a learning process on some of this but we're all good to go go yep i'm just gonna do it you know yeah definitely gotta All right guys, so we got all the holes drilled, as you can see, all the rib nuts installed. Obviously tried our best to, uh, you know, make them 110% perfect as always, but, um, you know, we're going to find out once we throw the armor up, but got the doors back on and wanted to let you guys know something important. A small wood clamp like this, you know, uh, was really, really helpful for holding it up because we had a really hard time trying to get the clamp to clamp on the side like this and go far enough down on the inside, you know, cause this bar, it wasn't, it kept slipping off. So we had a really hard time finding a combination that would work. So what we did is we had a bigger clamp uh, on the inside of this fender panel, clamping it right here to hold it, putting it like this, obviously with the door off uh, being further in and then holding the bottom of the armor um, up so that actually held it great and then holding it with the jack down there was kind of sketchy and make sure uh you know you have a really nice tool it is so worth it i could never imagine trying to do it with anything else as tight as possible so they don't spin on you you know when you're trying to tighten down the threads especially if you have one that's difficult to thread because that is very possible y'all can see the back of that uh rib nut there how it's just kind of mushroomed the uh body panel so that's a little backside view of what the rib nut looks like 